Hi everybody in YouTube land, this is Crystal and I'm the down to earth mama. Uh, so I just want to give another update. Um, the scale is down again, 184.4. So I think that was like a 1.4 pound weight loss from last week. I am super excited. So intuitive eating has been helping and whole food plant based. I've been doing great with it. Um, trying to stick to it at least, uh, mostly 90% of the time. Um, yeah, I've been having big giant salads for lunch with quinoa or pasta, and I made some homemade hummus that's oil free, and I'm just, I'm loving it. Fresh fruit every day, I'm getting my daily dozen, almost all of the 24 things, almost every day. Um, I've been doing a lot of yoga, I've been doing, um, I found like this uh, kids yoga channel, it's called like Cosmic Kids Yoga and it's so awesome and me and my daughter do yoga together and I discovered that I have Zumba for the Wii, uh, my fiance's sister gave us a Wii and a whole bunch of Wii games and there was a Zumba fit in there so I, I, I started doing that and that kicked my butt. Um, yeah, and I'm still taking the dog for a walk, you know, several times a week and when well, it's not raining right now where we're like in between you know, really hot days and then really rainy days, so, you know, here in, in PA, and yeah, and so I just got done reading Dr. Bernard's 21 Day Weight Loss Kickstart, and um, I thought that was an awesome book, and it gave me some great recipes. I started collecting a bunch of recipes from all the books. I got the How Not to Die Cookbook from the library there, you know, I showed you guys that. So I wrote down a bunch of recipes out of there. So I'm starting a big container of all my recipes from all the books. And um, next I'm going to be reading uh, this one. I haven't got to this one yet, so I'm going to read that one. I'm going to take another trip back to the library tomorrow. Uh, return some of the books I've read, see what else they have. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys have really like heard about this intuitive eating now. So I guess apparently it's just where you just eat the way your body um, tells you to. And you know, when you're hungry, you eat. When you're full, you're, you stop. And it's just like, you know, when you're a kid. Kids, you know, they're so worried about doing other things that eating is not the main focus of their world, you know, they eat when they're hungry, you know, if they're hungry, they say, mommy, I want a snack, and then, you know, if they're done, they're done, and they, you know, sometimes they'll only eat half their slice of pizza, and then they'll be done and go do something else, it's like, I want to live like that, I want, I'm tired of, like, my whole world just being weight loss, and weight loss, and weight loss, and how can I restrict my calories, and how can I, how can I eat less today, and, and it's just, that's tiring. And so, and a lot of these books that I'm reading, you know, from the doctors, you know, with Dr. Greger and, and uh, Dr. Bernard and Dr. McDougall, and they're all like, don't count calories. Oh, it was um, Dr. Furman, too, because I read his book as well. I love that. And yeah, they're just, they don't worry about calories. Like, I watch a lot of Chef AJ, and she's talking, she doesn't even have to worry about calories at all, like, ever. As long as you're eating the right foods, you can eat as much as you want and feel full because a lot of it, all the plant fiber fills you up faster and you get fuller on less calories, so your body just naturally, like, regulates that out. And, you know, some days you might need more, some days you might need less. I even, like, on my MyFitnessPal app, I upped my calories to 1,800 because a lot of them are saying that maybe you're not eating enough. And if you're not eating enough, then maybe your body's holding on to the fat because it thinks that you're not, it's not getting enough food, that there's not enough food. So I'm like, I don't know, well, let's try it. So I upped my calories to 1,800, and I'm still putting in my food every day just, just to keep track. But I'm not obsessing about it, like, oh my god, I have to keep my calories at, at 1,200 this today, and I'm not doing that. So, if I hit the 1,800, that's cool. If I don't, all right. So, most of it has been, I have I've been having a really hard time hitting 1,800 calories eating whole foods. Because I just get full. Like, I haven't even, I've been taking these big, giant salads for lunch every day, and I can't even finish them. I have to finish them for dinner. <laughs> so like I'll eat about half of it and I'll have to eat the other half at the beginning of dinner because I just can't finish it and then I'm hardly able to eat a big dinner so it's like you know it's been helping and I think it's been great to like not really worry about 
my calories or, you know, looking at a meal and being like, you know, is this low enough in calories? I can just eat it and be full and like, I'll stop halfway through and be like, am I still hungry? Should I keep eating? You know, just listening to my, my body's hunger cues and fullness cues. And, and so that's, that's where I am. Cause you know, I was trying the intermittent fasting and like some days were really good and I could get to lunch, no problem. And then other days it was a real struggle. And I'm just sitting there like drinking tons and tons of water and I'm just like miserable waiting until lunch. So I don't like that. And, and then other days like I can. So like if, if some days you're not hungry right away and you don't want to eat until lunch, then that's part of intuitive eating. Like if your body's just telling you like, I'm not hungry yet, then you don't have to force yourself to eat. Um, so I really like that idea. And that's what I'm going with. Um, yeah, so... And, you know, I tried doing some of the low-carb stuff, and I just, no. <laughs> I love my carbs. You know, all these low-carb diets are, they're not for me. And, you know, with everything that I've been reading from the plant-based doctors, and, you know, it, you can lose weight eating a lot of carbs. <laughs> and, you know, as long as they're whole food, good carbs, plant-based you know, minimally processed, you know, not white flour, just make sure everything's whole wheat, whole grains, um, then there's really no problem and no added fats, no oil, and, and you can eat all the carbs you want. I can have potatoes every day, that's my favorite food, I can have potatoes every single day, no problem, because I can't eat more than like two or three potatoes, and I'm stuffed, and that's like what, like 350 calories, 400 calories at most? You know, and then a big plate of vegetables. So it's like less than 500 calories for a dinner and you're stuffed. And so that's why you fill up more. It's like the volume is much more with less calories. So it's like the calorie density chart. If you look that up, there's a calorie density chart that shows you, you know, like the less density foods that you can have unlimited amounts of. And then there's a line and then underneath it has the... <clears throat> the higher density foods that have like the, you know, like oil is like the worst because it's such a concentrated shot of fat and calories with like very little volume. Like it doesn't do anything in your stomach to help you feel full. So it's just wasted calories for no reason. And that's why a lot of people are gaining weight. So, um, so I'm trying to go by that calorie density, the nutritional value of food, like Dr. Furman said in his, his book, um, the eat to live, so I like that idea about focusing on what are the most nutritious foods you can get. And I love the Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen app. I keep saying it, but I really like, I really love it. I use it every day. And I think it makes eating healthy so much fun to see how many I can get. And what else can I add to this plate of food to make it healthy and get in my Daily Dozen. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. Those are my tips. Um. So hopefully next week I'll have another good number on the scale for you guys. And, um, oh, I see dude coming back there. That's my cat Lebowski, but we just call him the dude. So that's him. So, um, he's a cool cat. Uh, that's why he's the dude. And, um, yeah. So, oh, please, if you like me, give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe. I would love to, you know, keep up with you guys every week if you guys will let me. And yeah, and you can also check me out on Instagram, uh, Down to Earth Mama 33. And then I'm also on Facebook, Down to Earth Mama uh, at DTEM 33. Um, so I have lots of food pictures on there, everything that I, you know, I eat a lot. I have kid approved sections with my daughter and her foods and everything. Um, and, and, and sometimes I'll put tips on there and things like that. So please check me out on Facebook and Instagram if you want. And, um, yeah, have a great weekend. I will see you guys next week.